Hello, Disney Infinity Trainers. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Let's Build a Toy Box series here on iStarly TV. Today we are playing as Fear. I believe this is the first time we've played as Fear on this series. Don't uh, or don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I really like Fear a lot in this game, and I probably already said that. <laughs> and so Fear is a really kind of random character to be helping out on Donald's room and on Donald's apartment, but you know, Donald needed all the help he could get, really, so uh, we're, we're playing as Fear today, and I added a, a few minor decorations here to Donald's room. Uh, I put this little sailboat, you know, Donald is dressed as a sailor, so it's fitting that he has a sailboat, and then I found these two duck statues with duck armor, uh, and, you know, Donald takes pride in being a duck, he definitely does, and so he wants everything he can have to remember that, and of course, he's got his portrait of himself, so that every morning when he wakes up, the first person he sees is himself. Well, actually, his best friend is right there next to him, but uh, maybe we'll move that if that becomes a problem. <laughs> and then here are Donald's awards, of course. And then I added this little uh, money jar so he could raise money to go on a trip to Paradise Falls. So, And a, a magic spell book. It's just there for decoration because Donald doesn't know magic. And then here's a little waste basket for any waste that Donald might have. <laughs> All right, so I actually, last time uh, when the episode ended, I was struggling to find uh, the toilet, the shower, all that stuff, and I actually have able, have been able to find it, so we're going to go ahead and um, make sure Donald has all the appropriate, you know, <laughs> I guess you could say appliances in his, in his bathroom. <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, necessary, I think. Alright, so here's the toilet, and I think a good place to have the toilet might be right here. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, maybe not, maybe it should be against the wall somehow. Yeah, I guess that's, that's probably a little bit better. So we'll put that there, and then the bathtub is gonna be over here. And then he's gonna go ahead and have a shower right about here, I suppose. Uh, where's the correct way to put that? I guess it's like this. I guess it it starts out being open. <laughs> maybe, actually, maybe right here. Although, the toilet next to the shower, I don't know if that sounds like such a great idea. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. We'll, we'll move it back over here, and then if we happen to change our minds again, we'll fix it, so... Let's see, you walk in, I'm going to move that trash can, walk in, and yeah, that looks a little bit better, so we'll go ahead and put the trash can over here. Uh, we can actually put it maybe next to the toilet, in case Donald, while using the toilet, has anything he's going to need to throw away. I don't know <laughs> what that would be. Uh, actually, let's move it a little closer, right? <laughs> okay, so we have that, and we're looking at the appliances, and... That might be it as far as, let's see, bathroom kind of decorations. Well, I don't know if I would call the <laughs> toilet and, and shower a decoration, but you get what I'm saying, right? I think what we're looking for now is countertops, which appeared, I think, in the accent and decor. That's kind of cool, but not for the bathroom. <laughs> what about this? Maybe... Maybe stuff like this. This could be like a cabinet or something where he keep, where he stores like maybe some towels and stuff. We could put that... Oh, we'll have to move it in there. We could put stuff like that over here so that he can hang the towels and everything. Um, should he have windows? Oh, well, this is... Since this is a hallway, I forgot. The hallways are very limited with what you can add, unfortunately. So I might not be able to add the things that I want to in this little hallway right here. And But I'm, I think I should just put some, some wall decorations just so it's not completely empty. So we'll, we'll hang some wall paintings. We will not hang portraits of characters because that's a little creepy, having the characters hanging in his bathroom. But what we could do is, let's take a look. Let me sit down. <laughs> All right, so what is this? Oh, that's cool, but again, that's kind of awkward to have in the bathroom. These, I like these a lot. These are really cool. See, they kind of flash up and show like kind of a scary picture. These are, these are interesting. I think we could go ahead and put stuff like this, even though I said in the last episode that Donald is not very big on contemporary art. Um, 
but his maybe his bathroom is. <laughs> I like this one. This one's very cool. All right, yeah, this can do for now then. All right, so you walk in, do your business, and you're out. <laughs> I think there is a sink, and we'll go ahead. I know that the only sink that I saw was the mini sink, and if that's the only one there is, then we'll just go ahead and use that. I mean, Donald really is going to need to wash his hands. We could use one of the trophies as a sink since it has like a basin shape, but that's kind of weird. Because why would you have a trophy in your bathroom as well? Jorgen juice in case he gets thirsty while he's showering, right? <laughs> okay. What about jellyfish? These are cool decorations. These look like cool like bathroom decorations, but they're at, these are actually real jellyfish, so it's probably not the best. I have an idea since we could just let's see. We'll go ahead and move the trash. Can. Actually, well, let me place this first. We'll have a stack of newspapers because Donald can read the newspaper while he's you know, going about his business. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, and then I said that I wanted to put like these things here as well. These could also serve as like counters, but maybe I'll just put one right here and then it, when I find the sink, I'll put that one next to it and that'll be that, I suppose. I mean, it's just a bathroom. It's not like we need to go all out for it, you know? Oh, this would be an interesting one. Look, we put this in front of the toilet. That's kind of funny. I'm going to put that there just as a little funny kind of prop. And, uh, yeah. If we can only find the... Oh, this is a bathtub as well. Forgot about this one. From the classic Nightmare Before Christmas movie. Let's see. We are looking for... The sink. Minnie, where's your sink? We could have, actually, it looks, it sounds like a decent idea to actually have a rug in here, because bathrooms do often have rugs. So, let's see, what, which of these is the most fitting? I know I'm kind of all over the place with this, but that's fine. That's cool. That's pretty cool, too, but it's not really fitting with, like, kind of the theme of the bathroom. I like this puzzle piece rug. That's kind of cool. But I, it's another one that I don't know really fits with the theme. These are good, because they can be, like, shower rugs. Uh, so when he steps out of the shower, you know, he doesn't slip and fall, I guess. He, his, his feet can drive. That one's pretty big. Yeah, this one's going to have to do it, for, for this at least. But I think another rug in the middle is, is a good idea. Maybe something like that. I guess that could do well. And I guess it's probably a good idea, even though it's just a bathroom. This is actually a pretty big bathroom. It's probably a good idea to, to still have some wall hangings just in case. But still, I'm going to look for the sink tables and cabinets. I think it might be in here. And for some reason there's only one type of sink that I've seen, so uh, that's the only one that we have the option to use. What could it be? This one's really cool. It's from the Haunted Mansion ride. That, that's pretty awesome. Alright, I think it's somewhere over here. Oh, actually, never mind. There is, there is another sink that, that works. Um, yeah, that's a small a small sink. Is the mini sink any bigger? It actually is. Okay, then in that case we'll just use this one. And maybe we'll put it on the on the other side of the of the box. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do it like that, I guess. And then we'll add some wall hangings and that'll be it for this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh, and I said I would move the, the trash can on the other side. We can move the trash can by the sink now. I think that that sounds like a, a good place to have that, and then just the gi giant stack of newspapers. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, and then some wall hangings. Windows. I mean, there should probably be a window in here so it doesn't get too, um, you know, steamy from the shower. Because then he can get some mold. If, if, if there's no window, then there, there might be mold. And we don't want Donald to get mold, so, you know, he, he's a cool kid, I guess. Dwarf's large cot. We don't want the large windows. We need some medium-sized windows. That one's a huge window. I don't think you would want a gigantic window like that in your bathroom. Why are all these windows so huge? All right, that's a little bit better. That's pretty big, but this is actually the same size, but... This is probably just a little bit better. Now where do we put the window? 
I guess right here is an okay pl place to put it. And, and we're assuming that, well, this is the upstairs anyway, so it's not like people are going to be able to see Donald, you know. In <laughs> oh, these are cool. I like those a lot. All right, uh, that looks pretty fine. So we walk in. Where am I? Okay. I like how this is turning out. I'm actually liking it quite a bit. All right, so here's the bathroom. And we'll, like I said, we'll put a couple more wall hangings just to kind of keep the decorations going. Maybe another light switch, I guess? That makes sense. Yeah, we'll put another light switch here. Even though it's kind of big. Sure. Okay, so... Some wall decorations. So more along the lines of... You know, hanging portraits, pictures, that kind of thing. So what about this? No, maybe not that. I don't know what Snuggly Duckling is, but it's been appearing everywhere. This is kind of cool. It's kind of, again, it's kind of weird for the bathroom, but I like it. So what if, what if we did three of those? Would that be like too much? Would that like overdo it? Uh, that, that's fine with me right now. That, that doesn't look so bad. Oh, and since this is a bathroom, it's kind of, it kind of looks cool to have this. But I don't know if this is like super out of place. It it might be, it might just be super out of place. But I'm gonna keep it there because I like it. Sure, sure, we'll do it. This is unique, and we'll stick with it. All right, so that's Donald's bathroom. Don't forget to flush. I should put like some kind of uh, logic right here so that you can like flush the toilet or something. But eh, that's fine. All right, so I like how this is turning out. Like I said, so after that. Let's go ahead and make Donald's kitchen. Now, I don't know exactly where I'll put the kitchen. And honestly, we didn't... I When I built this kind of layout for Donald's apartment, I didn't really kind of think of other places to add things. Let's see. Is that actually an opening? I, I don't remember. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to add the kitchen upstairs, which is kind of awkward. Because um, we don't have any other outlets here. Um, we could delete this room and then just add it again with another door attached so that you can go to the kitchen, but I think I just like having the kitchen upstairs. It kind of makes Donald's apartment unique again <laughs> in another way, and, and we'll decorate this a little more so it's not just bland. This could be like a kitchen slash maybe living room area if we want. Oh, but there's, there's an option for a door here, so we'll go ahead and put the kitchen, yeah, and right here. Okay, that's good. And this is kind of necessary to keep around, I guess. Um... Actually, we don't have to, though. I could just delete it, but I think we'll leave it for now, even though it is kind of weird to have, you know, this stuff in the way. Well, actually, this could just be, like, a, its own room. So we'll add the kitchen, and the kitchen will be... Kitchen will be here, I guess. I feel like the ki this, this room we're in right now should be the kitchen. Um... Yeah, or even this one, but this one's huge. This would be a gigantic kitchen. Unless we try to split it, like I said, and put like a dining room slash kitchen. However, this door is a little annoying. Yeah, I feel like the kitchen should just be this room, but then that's kind of unfortunate because it means we're going to have to delete all this. Um, but I guess we'll just try to work around it. We'll, we'll make this the kitchen for now, and... If we have to, you know, delete this stuff, then I guess we will. I mean, we have other ways of accessing San Diego, so it's like, it's not like we're in a, you know, desperate need for that door. See, and you can't even put it in front of that. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, I guess you could, no? Yeah, that's awkward. Okay. All right, well, we'll just kind of go with it, see how it looks in the end. So let's start with the wallpaper. So what's a good kitchen wallpaper? It's... This is an important question. This looks kitchen-y, I would say. So that's our one of our options, I guess. Uh, that doesn't look very kitchen-y, nor does that. That looks like it could be kitchen-y. Down the rabbit hole. This really, I think, looks kitchen-y. Look, looks like it could be... No, it actually looks like a bedroom, so never mind. That, no. Nope. I think kitchens are often a little bit maybe brighter, so that's what we should be looking for. Let's see, this I think this is what we used for the bathroom. 
It's kind of plain, too. Okay, I like this one a lot. I Oh, that's so nice. I like that a lot. Unfortunately, though, I don't think that's very fitting for a kitchen. That would actually be kind of fitting for a bathroom, though, I think. Minnie's house walls. That's, you know, okay. I don't think that looks kitchen-y. Maybe I have my own idea of what a kitchen looks like. No, not that. Not that either. <laughs> I, okay, this one's another one that I really, really like, but I don't know. I, I want to use this somehow. I'm just not sure how yet. That looks kind of plain. Am I, am I being too picky here? I, I might be. Captain America. I mean, what constitutes a kitchen, right? A kitchen wall. I mean, that could be a kitchen wall if we really wanted it to be. Yeah, otherwise we're back to the beginning here. And the, I think the accent is is because it's dark as well. I think we want to change that too. Yeah, we want to find something that matches up well. Again, something that's probably brighter, preferably. Something like that? That could actually work. But then, no, I think we could change the, the wallpaper to something maybe more white. And keep that white trim. Something like that. Is that too white? No, I honestly think this is okay. And usually kitchens have tile, so we're going to change the floor accordingly. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Yeah, does this look like a kitchen? Uh, sure. <laughs> I guess it doesn't not look like a kitchen, so we're okay. Right? All right, let's move that out of the way. I'm tempted to just delete these. Yeah, I'm gonna delete these for now because if we if we really desperately need them, there are other ways. I mean, we could just do it. We could just build that again, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, so now we're in on the whole, you know, decorating it as a kitchen. So let's see, where are we going to want to put the sink, you know, the oven and all that? Let's see. So you walk in. I could see the oven, stove, all that being right around here. So we can just put that, like, right there. And let's go back to the appliances. There we go. Oven kind of looks a little better. I kind of like that one. Well, they're like the same size. So we'll go ahead and choose that. The fridge then. The fridge can be right around here. That's a big fridge. <laughs> a broken toilet. We could have given him a broken toilet, right? See, that? that's so small though. It's like, I want more. So we're probably going to have to add a lot of counters and stuff like that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's not that much to go off of. But we'll definitely add like a table and a seating area. What kind of table are we looking at though? Let's see. We are at 18 minutes. Alright, we're almost at the 25 minute mark already. So I guess once I kind of get the kitchen going, then we'll go ahead and call the end of the episode there. Awkward. A bed. We don't need any beds in the kitchen. These are footstools. Yeah, we've gone through everything, see? Once again, I wish there were easier ways to organize things, but I won't complain too much. Alright. I like these. These definitely look like they're they're fitting for a kitchen, so we'll add these maybe up here. But then these walls are empty. Maybe over here or something. Yeah, this looks cool. Oh, they're floating. I like that a lot. That's really awesome. And we'll put this over here. Because Donald's short, so if we put it too high up, then he's he's going to need help. <laughs> All right. This looks like it might make sense, like, around here, because he's going to need to grab the supplies. Pixel waterfall. That's pretty cool. Waterfall box. 
inflatable reindeer cabinet that this looks like something that could be seen in a kitchen so we'll keep it here um, we'll put it over here uh, we'll put that there for now and, and we'll fix it when we need to and we'll put the little decorations and paintings and all that later on as well let's see these are cool no, these don't fit Things like this looks like they look like they could go in the kitchen, but again, we'll we'll just kind of come back to that that aspect of it. So I like this. So this could go, and we're gonna need some kind of you know a sink and things like that. The sink maybe could go over here. Kind of doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh, because we have the counters now. Okay, so we'll put the counter corner right here. That looks good. And then we could put the sink right attached to it. There we go, it merges, that's perfect. And then we just fill in the rest with basically counters. And that, looks, and that works out really well also because, um, because it's next to the fridge. And ghost fruit table, I don't know why it's called ghost fruit table, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep that because, oh, here's, here's a good thing to keep in a kitchen as well. This looks very kitchen-y. So we'll keep that over here. Maybe push it a little more towards the, towards the edge. And I like this, like I said, so this can go maybe over here. I guess it doesn't need to be directly connected to the stove. Oh, it lined up. Look at how marginal that is. It's so hard to match it up. All right, that's close. <laughs> that's as, probably as close as we're going to be getting. So uh, I like this, Corellian kitchen table. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what we need, right? I don't know what Corellian means, but... Uh, this could go eh, maybe just right here. It's fine. Maybe we could put a couple of these. If there's like a bar, that would be kind of a cool thing to add as well. Um, let's see. All right. Yeah, this looks like a kitchen here. So when Donald's hungry, he just comes in here, heats, heats up the stove, whips up a couple of taquitos or whatever. Grand Banquet Buffet. Oh, what, what is complete without all this lovely food? So this is the food that Donald actually made. And we'll put that here. Well, if Donald had a date in Disney Infinity, that would be very fitting. But Donald doesn't have a date. They haven't added Daisy in yet. So, Donald's all alone. Daisy for our Disney Infinity? Who knows? Sure, we'll put this here as well. Whatever. <laughs> and let's see. If we had... I mean, I'll put this over here just so that there's not like a lot of blank space. And I'll write your name. Let's go ahead and undo that. Sure, whatever. Does this fit too, though? If that fits, then I'll take it. Yeah, it does. Nice. Yeah, just so there's not a lot of randomness, kind of. All right, so I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, sure. Um, this works. If we had like an actual like cabinet kind of thing. That would be really nice, but it doesn't look like we have something like that. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here before we end up spending too much time. But thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you thought of the episode. Let me know what else you would like me to do in my toy box, and check the description for previous episodes and subscribe for more. Bye!